kick. Sick of you. Yes. Oh my gosh. We just wrecked that guy. Welcome back, you mateys. Today we're back with the last Leviathan, and today I'm gonna try to make something new. Oh my gosh, this game is so freaking cool. I was doing, I was messing around a little bit, trying out some different stuff, and there are just some amazing things in this game. Now, guys, here's the thing. If you guys don't know what Last Leviathan is, basically, I think this game's gonna be huge. Uh, and I think you guys are gonna really, really enjoy it, because it's basically Besiege on the open seas, on the high seas. It's like a, you can, I don't know, think of it like a pirate game, but like a besieged pirate game. That's how I'm thinking of it. And I'm so excited to build new crafts and stuff. And then also like get into like the multiplayer aspect, but I still want to do kind of the battle seas uh, for maybe another episode or two. Just to kind of mess around and experiment. Maybe we'll do some Steam Workshop, look at some stuff that people have already made, uh, which I think I can, I think you can do that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this series. If you do, definitely make sure to Hit that thumbs up button, let me know, comment, subscribe if you're new. I, guys, this is gonna, I, I hope that this series will be a long running series on the channel. I'm really excited about it. So, if you guys didn't see the last one, uh, we were in battle season, we were making a ship. And I made, uh, it was supposed to be a COD class one, but you can actually go over it and make, like, go into the wildlands class. And this is what I made last time. I actually saw that there are like these uh, things that you can add on the side here. So you can l legitimately make your own ship. And so if you didn't see the first episode, definitely go back and watch it because um, it's pretty freaking fun and it's pretty cool. Uh, in this episode though, we're going to make a new ship and we're going to try a different design and see what we can make. Okay, I have a cool idea of what I want this thing to be like. And I think we can make it pretty simple. Uh, and very effective. So what I would want to go for this time is more of like a flat build and You have like these wood wedges here. And so let's see we wanted to do this and so then what we need to do is Have a block like that Block like that and I want to have it like somewhat a similar design as the last one If you guys didn't see the last episode like I said go watch it before you watch this one So you kind of get my first impressions of the game uh, yes, we could totally do this. Okay, it's gonna be like pointed in the front, and I'll have like melee. Uh, let's see, weapons, Pike the Impaler, power 200, health 850. Oh, maybe we'll just do the base one. Now nah, let's do that. Let's do this one. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of what we want to do right there. Now there's also uh, if we do, let's see. Center block. Wait, do we want that? No, we want a. I, I think I want a wedge. Because we want it to be pointed. Now, do there are these things? I think let you have kind of the. What the heck? Why does that look like that? Let you have kind of the wedge look. Is this gonna be? Why is it green like that? Is that underside? Is that what it's supposed to be like? I can't get it to uh, look the way I want. Okay, so like that, and then we'll put the web. We'll put some cannons on here, the big ones. Yes, probably gonna exceed the first power score. There it is. That's what, dude. This is gonna be sick. We're in the Hulk class now, and then let's do more melee. Yeah. Uh, and then let's see what else there are. There's incendiaries, flamethrowers, man. That's insane. Nothing else there. Movement. Oh yeah, we need sails. I'm gonna do sails this time. Then can we do a big one in the back? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's too much. The weight, yo, the weight. We could always, uh, if we like, you know, have too much weight or something. I. That's not gonna work. That's too much weight. Okay, we'll try that. Um, am I like done? What else should I do on this thing? There's not many other weapons. There's a bunch of hull stuff though. Let's look at the hull stuff. Oh, we need armor. Should we do like... Ooh, that's really cool. Oh yeah. Dude, freaking armor on the sides. Nice. 
Could do some fish scales like right back here. For no, uh, that might be too much weight actually back here. Dude, this thing looks sick. Let's set sail. Oh, oh. Okay, too much weight in the front actually. Okay, so I got it working. Uh, I just had to restart kind of from the menu. So I've done quite a bit to this. I realized in the last ship I didn't actually put anything under here. This is actually, these are actually called, uh, what are they called? Keel or something? Yeah, keel. These are called the keel. And uh, it really helps to have like kind of a lower part of the base. So basically all of this area is underwater for the most part and everything else is above. And so uh, it should be to the point now where it works extremely well and we can do some serious damage and then guys check this out we've got flamethrowers on here i'm really excited to see what those things can do so let's go ahead and set sail and find our first victim okay where is everyone at there's got to be somebody around here but look look at this it's floating so well it's working really really well let's see what the flamethrowers look like Oh my gosh! <laughs> I cannot wait to find someone! Oh, we're setting sail again. I went back to the menu. There's a guy right here. Sweet! Okay, let's reset the camera here. We can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so should we melee the guy or. Oh, this moves so much better, guys. Now that we have those things underneath and there's like an actual base to this thing. Kind of weird on the edges there, but it's better than this thing is just loaded with stuff. Okay, I got a flamethrower with a guy. I got a flamethrower. What the heck? Oh, he's got a like a torch or something up there. He's got guns. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, we lit this guy up. Dude, the flamethrower is like infinite use right now. Here we go. Say hello to my new ship. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Come on, it's not turned enough yet. He's he's tight turning us. Maybe we can take out his gun and make him like turn. Did I get it? I hit it though. There we go, huge hit. Yes! We blew this dude to shreds. Oh, he's done. He's done. Battle 6-1. Okay, what the heck? Okay, I gotta figure out the camera controls. What did he do to us? He blew off our, st our, st our railings back here. That's all he did. He blew off the railings. Let's go find someone else to kill. Ship sighted. We got, a, we got another bogey. I put two more propellers on this thing so I can actually uh, move a lot faster. And it is working quite well. I wanted to see if I can like long shot this guy, but I don't think we're going to be able to. <laughs> Death from above! Oh yeah, here we go. He spotted me. It's time to engage. The gun's blazing. Come on. Dude! Light him up. Light him up! Yes! Dude is on fire. Oh, he's got a little tiny boat, dude. Little tiny boat. About to get destroyed, man. No! I think we got the flamethrower's back up. Light his sail up. Oh, he's is he blowing stuff off? He's blowing. He blew off my flamethrower, you jerk! He's on fire though. I can't I can't hit the dude from that view. Dude, I cannot hit this guy. One thing's for sure, the uh, flamethrower is very trusty. <laughs> Just bring it around, man. Derping on this guy. He's got such a big, uh, such a tiny ship, he can just like circle us easily. Look at it, there we go. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me with this guy? I can't get him! You're done now, dude. You're done now. Yeah. Yeah, backed up. What now? There's a nice hit. Oh, he's d 
done. What the heck? Enemy spotted. They just said some ships you meet won't fire back unless they're fired upon, which is interesting. So we might not always get shot at. Maybe that's what this guy is. Nope, he spotted me. He's coming at me. Okay, so I added a couple more uh, rudders on here, so see how that works out. If that helps at all. And that's that's intense. Yes! Huge hit there. Turn it around. Turn it around. Bring it around. Oh gosh. We gotta work on the turn the turn time of my designs here. Oh This guy's just got like a legit boat right here. Shoot! Dude, you hit my figurehead! Jerk, light his sails on fire. Can you do that? Oh! Oh, I alt tabbed. We're, we're up underneath his boat right now. What now, dude? <laughs> um. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't want this dude to come around and be able to easily shoot me. He missed a shot. What? No, he didn't. I cannot, I cannot get these shots down, man. From this, from this camera angle, it's very hard. This dude is lighting me up right now. He's just turning around in circles over here. These, the flamethrowers obviously have like a fire range. Here we go. Oh! Dude, his bow is annihilated. He's trying to come around. He's trying to come around. Why can't... Dude, sometimes the wind just screws with you. Like, look, look, it's just pushing me. Like, the waves are just pushing me all over the place. There we go. Nice hit. I did not want to do that. Yeah, dude, we got him. We got him. Jeez, man, this is, it's actually difficult to to like maneuver properly in this game. Cause like you just kind of get pushed with the waves and stuff. It really messes with you. Okay, uh, let's take off like maybe these, cause we're going way too fast, I think. And I I, I don't know how to get this thing to turn tighter. Maybe if we got rid of like all this stuff on the side, it would work a little bit better. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just try that and see if that does anything for us. I'm, I'm curious to know if it's going to help. I'm not like obviously some kind of expert at building boats or something. And so I'm not too sure. That looks kind of cool actually. Uh, I'm not too sure like what to do and how to get it to work the best. If we, uh, let's see. Let's go like this. These have a pretty good range. So, wait, what if we do, can we do like, uh, if we like, can we put it under here? Can we put it right there? I hope so. That would be cool. Yeah, we can. Sick. But we, uh, got rid of the wrong one. Whoops. There we go. Oh, we need this back up. There we go. So, let's see if this is any better. We don't have any kind of, like, armor plating on the side, though. Shield armor? 180. 120 power. Health 300. Health 1200. Oh, my gosh. That's the legit stuff right there. All right, let's see if this works. We just need to be able to turn tighter. There we go. So getting rid of that stuff definitely seemed to help. There's a boat up there. Let's go get him. Oh, we were spotting. The Kraken awakes, it said. The Kraken awakes. It just said the Kraken awakes. Guys, what the crap is that? So the little indicator on the mouse tells you kind of when to time your shots due to, like, the waves. It's kind of nice. It's still, like, really hard, though. Dude, get wrecked. This ship is so much better now. 
They're so much better now. Look at that cannonball going in slow motion over here. He missed his shots. Yes. Dude. Get freaking annihilated. Sick. Sick of you. Yes. Oh my gosh. We just wrecked that guy. Amazing. There's another guy right behind us right here. Did he just spawn in? We're missing like so much of our vehicle right now. Why do I keep saying vehicle? Because I'm used to scrap mechanic. Missing so much of our ship right now. Took out his sails. Lit his whole boat on fire. Dude. <laughs> Sick. This poor guy. He's not firing on me. Are you, fr are you friendly? Are you friendly little guy? He's actually a pretty big ship. Oh, he's revving up the cannons. You hear it? Revving up the miniguns. Am, am I sinking? Get up! Oh, yes. He's done. He's done. Nice. Guys, thank you so much for watching this next... This episode of the last leviathan if you like the video thumbs up subscribe if you're new check out tomorrow because there'll be another video i plan on doing like a ton of these videos i'm really excited about the game hopefully you guys are too i'll see you guys in the next one